Hello and welcome back to English with Felice. And if you're new here, welcome. Today we're looking at the words much and many. But before we do that, please hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And this is a special shout out to Nadia La for requesting this video. So you will learn the meaning of the words much and many and how to use these words correctly in sentences. So much is used when we refer to a large quantity of unaccountable things and many is used when we refer when we refer to a large quantity of things that are able to be counted. So they do sound very similar. Um, so it can be a bit tricky, but we'll just look at some examples and hopefully that helps you make more sense of it. So let's look at the word much first. How much does this cost? There isn't much I can do about it. How much did you eat? I've got so much on this week, meaning like you've got lots of things you need to do or lots of events you need to attend. Did you spend much time writing your essay? Or you could have also said, how much time did you spend writing your essay? Probably sounds better that way, but either way is right. Now, in those sentences I've provided you, you can't swap the word many, so it won't make grammatical sense. So it you must use the word much for those sentences. Now let's look at many. So there are so many examples I could give you, I can't provide them all. How many dogs do you have? You have too many things on your desk. How many hours of work do I have left? Again, you can't um, swap these words for the word much. You just can't, it won't make sense. For the way that the sentence is structured but if you really are unsure if you should be using the word much or many you can always swap words around in the sentence and it'll still make sense so if if you're wondering like what do i mean what i mean by that if you don't want to use many or much you can change it so let's look at um the third the third sentence, so the one where it's you have too many things on your desk. You could also say you have a lot of things on your desk. If you're really unsure, like if you were thinking you have too much things on your desk or you have too many things on your desk and you weren't sure which one to use, keep in mind it, the correct word is many, you can change it. So you have a lot of things on your desk or you can say you have lots of things on your desk. And it still makes sense and it still means the same thing. Now, I thought it was important to include um, some similar sentences, which is basically an example I just gave you, but we swapped out the words. So this time I'm going to switch the sentence so you can use the word many. So how much sleep did you get? How many hours of sleep did you get? So you're still asking the same question. You're asking about the quantity of sleep that person got. Uh, there is so much that I need to do today. Or I have so many things to do today. So all these sentences I'm providing um, are correct. I've just worded them differently to show you that you can swap the words around. With the last one, or with both of them really. So the top one, how much sleep did you get? You could say, did you get a lot of sleep last night? You know, or the second one where it's, there is so much I need to do today. You could also say, I have a lot to do today. So you can always switch words around in English. I'm not sure if it's saying other languages. I don't speak another language, but um, yeah, that's, that's a good thing about English is you can switch things around if you're a bit unsure of what word you're supposed to say and you're a bit more confident with another word. But obviously it's always good to know, you know, the correct words. Um, oh, sorry, I was meant to stage these out, but I didn't. So how much more do I need to write? Um, the similar way to say that would be how many more sentences do I need to write? I had to be a bit more specific using the word many there. I couldn't just say how many 
more do I need to write? Because that wouldn't make sense. That's why I said, how many more sentences do I need to write? Or I could have said, how many more paragraphs or pages? Um, I don't have much to share or there aren't many to share. That um, I'm reading that now. It's a bit ambiguous. So I don't have much to, to share. Let's think about I had a tray of berries, right? And I'd say to you, I don't have much to share. Sorry. Or I could say, oh, there aren't very many to share. So similar, similar thing. Let's look at some more similar sentences. Oh, no, I did that. Oh, what have I done? I don't know what I've done here. Oh, I think I've copied and pasted it. These are the same ones, so we'll skip through that. Um, okay, so don't say, I didn't get many sleep last night. You can't say that. It doesn't make sense. Do say, I didn't get much sleep last night. Don't say, how many cake would you like? Say, how much cake would you like? If you're a bit confused with how many cake would you like, was I talking about whole cakes? No, I wasn't. I was talking about a slice of cake. So, But if you wanted to change the top sentence to refer to whole cakes, maybe you're buying more than one cake, you would say, how many cakes would you like? That would be the right way to say that. But in this example, I was talking about a slice of cake. So I would say, how much cake would you like? For example, do you want a big slice? Do you want a sliver? Do you want a medium slice? You know, Don't say, there are so much people here. You should say, there are so many people here. Don't say, we don't have many time left. Do say, we don't have much time left. Okay. Now, I want you to test yourself here. Should the blank space be filled with much or many? So pause the video, write this down, and when you're ready for the answers, press play. So I'm assuming you've paused the video, you've written down your answers, and you're ready for the correct responses. Let's check them out. How many cookies do you want? I have so many cookies here. How much do you want? I have too many. Thank you very much. How did you go? Let's check out this one. So again, fill the blank space with much or many and press play when you're ready to find out the answers. Okay, so I'm assuming you've paused the video, you've pressed play because you're ready for the answers. So here they are. I have so much to do. How many times do you need to be told? There aren't many days left this term. How many days do you work this week? So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it really helped you. If it did, please share it along to a friend who you think it might also help. Um, please don't be afraid to ask uh, for extra help in the comments. If you were confused on something or you were stuck on something or you've got your own question and you want a video made on that, I'm more than happy to help you. So thank you so much for watching again. Hit that like button, leave a comment down below and don't forget to, to subscribe. See you next time.